Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to redesign your course player to match your corporate branding. Everything you see around the slide, from buttons and text to bars and layouts, can be transformed any way you like. Today, I'll show you how to change the shape and color of buttons, add gradients, choose fonts, adjust the player layout, and more. Are you ready? Let's start! First, open your course in PowerPoint and go to the iSpring Suite tab. Here, click on Player. When the window opens up, select Universal Player. It is the most popular player, so let's customize it. Let's start with Themes, our preset player design templates. You can choose between simple themes with clean design or more advanced themes with bright colors. It's up to you. You can decide based on your goals or your brand style guide. I'll select the full player with sidebar and show you how to customize it. Let's go over to colors. Here you can choose the scheme you like, light, dark, or bright gradient. Let's choose the light orange scheme and see how to adjust it. If you want, you can change the colors of every element, and I mean every element. To do this, click create a custom scheme and select the element you want to change. I'd like the buttons to match the colors on the slide, so I'll take an eyedropper, pick a color, and add gradients. Okay, now I'll change a couple more colors. Yep, that's just what I needed. Now let's save our changes so nothing gets lost. And a little tweak here, I'll adjust the corner radius and select a different font. Let's make it the same as on the slides. Here we go. Great! We just need to choose the right layout for our player. In Layouts, we can choose what to show and hide on player bars. You have several preset layouts for the most common tasks. You can customize any of them. To do this, click Create a Custom Layout and start making changes. You can disable or enable each bar by selecting the toggles here. I think I'll hide both the top and side bars. And now, let's go inside and choose which buttons to display. On the bottom bar, I'll turn on the Outline button so users can jump between slides. Now it's time to save our changes. And that's it! We're done! Now you know how to build inspiring courses that your learners will enjoy. Design everything your way easily. Stick to templates or unleash your inner creative genius. It's up to you. Say goodbye to creative limits with the new iSpring Suite.